Hello everyone, this is uh, Mitch Wagner. I am uh, Executive Editor at Light Reading. I'm here with Scott Stevens from Palo Alto Networks. We're in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. How's the show going for you so far? It's going well. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's always a big event, so many, many people, many, many crowds. How are your feet doing? They're tired. Yes, they are. So, um, I understand you're very interested in, uh, well, first of all, why don't you tell people what you do for Palo Alto? Um, so for Palo Alto, I run our global systems engineering team, and I'm the CTO for our service provider organization. Okay, now uh, I know that 5G is a very big deal for service providers. So uh, how does this affect your business and security? Well, I think 5G is a very interesting evolution in security. Um, the last time we really took a hard look at mobile security was in 4G. And mm -hmm. in 4G devices, we had flip phones, basically, as yeah. 4G started. And so the concerns for security were fundamentally different in 4G, um, and simple um, you know, port-based firewall rules were relevant. Um, that's not the case any longer as we roll out 5G. And if you look at how enterprise security worked in the 4G era, it was equivalent. Today, we secure networks far more aggressively than we ever did 10, 10 15 years ago as we architected 4G. So 5G creates a completely new set of requirements for the visibility, the awareness, and the protection that needs to be provided for those networks. Okay, so what are some of those requirements? Well, we, we look at the compute power of all the devices in 5G, and we have to think very much about the current threat vectors, malware being prominent amongst those. And so we have to think about how do we secure these large networks from um, getting malware on the devices and what that malware might cause to happen to the network, whether that malware attacks the network itself or provides a problem to the consumer of the device. And, and how do you do that? Um, well, by having a much richer security platform, um, whether we're talking about GI, roaming and peering, or in the RAN, to be able to inspect and understand what's happening in that network, both at the payload level and also at the signaling level, so that we can protect the network on, on, on both axes or both dimensions. Okay, now I, I know that Internet of Things is also a big issue for service providers yeah. and a big area of growth and a big opportunity, but also a big threat vector. So can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Well, IoT has been, has been growing obviously very rapidly on the fixed networks. We're seeing it grow quickly on 4G, and I think in 5G we'll have far more IoT devices attached to the network than we have people on the earth. And so um, it's going to be a very interesting um, set of problems when you have devices that um, run various different operating systems, in many cases are very difficult to upgrade or may not be upgradable at all. And so you're going to have risks um, for how those can get breached and how, how they can become infected. We've seen attacks on the fixed network already. Mm -hmm. um, several carriers have had challenges with IoT devices um, attacking the, their own infrastructure or other parts of the internet. And I think we have that same concern now with the proliferation of IoT and 5G. And again, we have to understand in detail how we secure them and how we get visibility to what could affect them. Okay, well, anything you'd like to add? I think in general, I think this is a fascinating time. As we look at 5G, all the services we're gonna roll out, um, I think it's important that we understand that bandwidth and capacity augmented by security is gonna make for an amazing uh, set of services rolled out by the carriers. Okay, great, well, thank you very much. Great to see you. Yeah.